What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. How are you? Me, I'm doing just fine. Me, I'm pretty excited. Why am I excited? Yeah, this is why. I finally got my hands on the LG Wing. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this because I've been so excited to get it. Finally was able to pick one up. And now let me go ahead and get into it. I hope it wows me. Let's do this! Spectacular Gadgets. I am super excited about this one, but first thing that comes to mind while holding it is this is a heavy device at 260 grams. Let's take a look at the bottom. You'll notice the mic, the Type-C port, as well as the speaker on the right. On the right side of the device, you'll notice three buttons. You have the up and down volume keys as well as the power button. On the top of the device, you'll notice the microphone as well as the camera. On the left side of the device, you'll notice the SIM tray is pretty large because it also has space for a micro SD card. The back of the device looks oh so nice. Uh, the triple camera setup is 64 wide, 13 and 12 megapixel ultra wide. Uh, the video is 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second. So that's the camera setup and it looks really nice. This is the gray variant of the wing. Okay, I can't wait anymore. I have to try this out. Let's swivel this thing. And so it's not bad, actually. It swivels rather smoothly, and then you just push it back. All right, I went ahead and booted this up. Um, let's go ahead and get through the normal setup process, and I'll come back with the biometric setup. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring my data over. So what I'm going to use is a backup from the cloud. So I'll go ahead and select this one. And this will pull up all the backups that I have. So you see I have a list of them. So the one that I'm actually going to pick to bring over to the wing is probably the most recent, which is the Galaxy Z Flip. So I'll have 7.8 gigabytes out of 225 gigabytes. And this is everything that it's going to bring over. So let's go ahead and set up the fingerprint. My first look at the screen with my wallpaper and everything on there looks good. It came over from the Z Flip. So currently it's downloading and installing all my apps in the background. Let us go ahead and take a look at the second screen with the device swiveled over. It swivels over to the left. So if you're right-handed, it works out pretty well. If you're left-handed, you have to remember that. So let's take a look at the back of this though. Um, here is the back of the device with the wing opened. 
and that's actually smooth it is not grippy now introducing swivel home add and rearrange apps so it's showing you right here that you can rearrange and add whatever you need on this home screen swivel mode so it's telling you how to activate swivel mode there's a few different ways that you can do that And lastly, it's giving you directions about the second screen apps that you'll have to give them permission for some of the apps to be able to come over to the second screen. So this is the home screen when you have it swivel, but you have your regular screen when you have the device unswiveled. Now, I totally forgot that this does not have a camera on the display. It's more so like the OnePlus 7 Pros. I'm snapping a quick photo to get a look at the shutter speed pretty quick let's take a look at the picture if you unswivel the device when you have the camera on it goes straight to gimbal mode so this is giving you some information about how to use the joystick which is the thing in the middle so I can go left I can go up right and down so this allows you to have that extra smooth footage when you're doing some video recording Now to take a look at the selfie camera, it popped up from the top of the device as you see. I'll snap a few pictures so you can get a feel. So here it is. One is portrait and one is just a regular photo. To drop this for about four feet, I'll go ahead and pull the selfie camera up. So you see, it's up. You see, it's up. Five, four, three, two, one. What does it say here? What does it say here? So let's do that again. And five, four, three, two, one. Shout out to TCL for sending me out the TCL 10 Pro. Now, this makes number three out of the TCL lineup that they have. I have the 10L, I have the 10 5G UW, and now I am finally getting around to testing out the TCL 10 Pro. With all that being said, are you guys ready? Let's do this! <laughs>
Before I get into Call of Duty, I was curious to see if a gamepad would open up on the second screen. And as you see here, it does not, but what it does do is give you some game settings and controls for when you're in the game, you can do a few things on the second screen. I would say I did pretty well, but check out the name that I used if you didn't catch that earlier. Yeah, I did that. Now let's quickly go ahead and check out the game settings on their audio and graphics tab. As you see by default, they're both on high. I do have the choice for very high for the graphic quality and max for the frame rate, but I cannot have them pretty much maxed out. As you see, I can only have one or the other. I can have them at both very high, but nothing more than that for the frame rate. So as you see, the fingerprint is accurate, but it is not the fastest. The next cool feature I want to show you is let's say you have two apps open because you're using the phone on Swivel. So let's say we have YouTube and Twitter as you see. Now Twitter disappeared because as soon as I hit play on YouTube, the control panel came up. But to get rid of that, I hit that little toggle on the top right and Twitter comes back. Now, this can also rotate, so the screen will rotate at whatever way you're holding the device, which I think is pretty cool. So your second screen becomes the top screen, and you can also, again, hit that toggle, and whatever app you had open comes back. That's pretty cool, huh? Now, let's go ahead and test out wireless charging and it does wirelessly charge. I can say I'm pretty impressed with the LG Wing. The swivel sets it apart from many of the devices that's already out, and it looks good. It has a lot of features. The one thing though, the one thing, and I'm not sure because they didn't have room or they, I'm not sure, but the headphone jack is missing. There's no headphone jack. So that's a bummer right there. Uh, this is running the Snapdragon 765, um, and so it has plenty of power. Battery life seems to be pretty good. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.